mobility flow. All you need is the wall and a mat. So we're going to start with your right shoulder next to the wall. Lift your right arm up as high as you can without shrugging your shoulder. Then once you get to the end of that range, start to rotate at the shoulder and reach behind. And reverse. Two more times. Okay, this time, come all the way up and bring it right behind you, your palm on the wall. You should feel that opening in your shoulders and your chest. So hold here. And bring it down. So step out just a little bit and hold on to the wall for support. We're going to do some hip rotation. First, start by lifting your foot, your inner thighs facing the ceiling. You're going to turn it foot down, start to open up to the side, and then rotate, heel to the ceiling, and reverse it. So 
So start by dropping your belly, lifting your tailbone, your chin. Now push the floor away, rounding your back, tucking your chin. Repeat two times. Come back to neutral. Come to child's pose. Left forearm on the ground. Right hand behind your head. Open up. Twisting up the thoracic spine. And tap the elbow. Last one. Bring your right forearm down, left hand behind your head. Open up and tap. Okay, bring it up to a down dog. Working your heels towards the ground, chest towards your thighs, and step through with your right foot. Drop that back knee. You're going to sit up tall, ribs over pelvis, tuck the tailbone under, and engage your glutes. Now take your hands down to frame that foot, engage that back leg, lifting that knee, and then twist open, right hand to the sky. Take the hand down, straighten out the front leg into pyramid pose. Bring it back down to that low lunge. Sit up tall. And then stretch your quadricep and your hip flexors. Bring the foot, lift the knee. Easy twist. Hand down. Pyramid pose. Last time, low lunge. Sit up straight, tuck, engage. Bring the foot, lift the knee, easy twist. Hand down, pyramid pose. And come back to that low lunge. You're going to turn to the long edge of your mat and you're going to be in a half squat. So you're kneeling on one leg and on the other one your foot is flat. You're going to push that knee up over that toe. Just going to rock back and forth. This is a really good variation to do if a full squat is not accessible to you because your heels lift off the ground. Start with a half knee lift squat. Now push that knee over the toe. Working through that ankle mobility. Now come up and bring that leg a little farther out to the side. And you're going to push the knee towards your toe as you lean into that leg. You should feel this in your inner thighs. And lift. And lift. Last one. Now kind of bring it back down and turn back to the front of your mat. Bring your forearms down. You can walk out to the side and push that knee out. Okay, bring it back to center, come to hands and knees, and push back up to a down dog. We're going to do the other side. Left foot down, right knee down, low lunge, tucking the hips, engaging your glutes. And frame the foot, 
the back leg, easy twist, left hand to the sky. Bring the foot, straighten the front leg, pyramid pose. And back to low lunge. Up tall, ribs over pelvis. Frame the foot. Lift the left hand. Bring that hand down and straighten out the front leg. Back to low lunge. Last time all the way through. Low lunge. Easy twist. Pyramid. And back to low lunge. I'm going to turn so I can face the camera. So you're in that half squat. So you're kneeling on one leg. The other one, you're going to push that knee up over your toe and rock back. And come up to tall kneeling. Move that left foot out a little bit farther so you can push that knee the direction of your toe. Lean into it. Feeling your inner thighs. And come out. Lower and lift. Do three more. Two and last one. Come up. You're going to turn and face the back of your mat, the front of your mat. And you're going to walk your hands out to the side and you can push that knee out. Okay, bring it back in. Coming back to all fours. I'm going to face the front of my mat again. From here, I'm going to come and lower your belly down. Lift your arms up. Elbows at 90 degrees. Squeeze your scapula together so you're retracting your shoulder blades. Keep them together as you reach up overhead and bring it back down. Reach and lower. Okay, this time you're going to reach and circle your arms all the way behind you. Bend your elbows, bring the tops of your hands to your back. Reverse. Straighten. Reach like you're straightening walls to the side of you. Arms overhead. And back. Behind you, tops of your hands down. And straighten. And reach. Last one. Okay, drop your hands down. You're going to bring them out into goal post again, 90 degree elbows. And bring your left foot to the outside of your right leg. Feeling the stretch in your chest on the right side and reverse it. Let's go to the other side. And bring it back down. Bring your forearms underneath. You can engage your glutes in your back and lift up to a low cobra. And lower. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Engage your glute in your back. Lift up. You may stop right here. You may can extend all the way. You're going to lower. 
Engage your glutes and lift. And lower. And one more. Come down, push back to a child's pose. Come back to hands and knees. You're going to rock forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Now face your fingers to the sides. You're gonna rock right side, left side. Okay, now fingers back. You're gonna rock back just a little. And forward, and back, and forward. Now sit back on your heels and roll out your wrist. Okay, that's it for today's mobility.